I'm adjusting the value of pot 5. Uh, by turning it counterclockwise, it reduces the resistance. And this is actually the uh, potentiometer that adjusts the output voltage of the LM317, which is uh, right there. So by reducing that, that reduces the voltage. I can see I've dropped the resistance down to 123.3 ohms. Uh, I only need to drop it down a tiny little bit to reduce the voltage at it was at 5.32 volts and the actual range that it's supposed to be within is 5.23 to 5.27 I believe it is ideally it should be 5.25 volts though and that's the the supply voltage for the ESPs um, so I want to make absolutely certain that that voltage is in spec just on the off chance that it's a, having an effect on the memory circuit. So I've been looking at the, the inputs and outputs of the 74HCT373 uh, transparent octo latch, which is basically the interface between the ESP and the memory, the, the data bus for it. And uh, Yeah, that, that voltage is out of spec, so just want to make sure that's not having any effect. So we'll see what happens here in a second one. For my first uh, goal here, though, is to get this adjusted so that it's exactly 5.25 volts. Uh, and that voltage is measured at this test point here, which is uh, TP7. As you can see here, I've, I've reduced the resistance too much now, it's at 5.18 volts. And I'm just going to pop this probe off here. And you can see, when I turn up the volume, there's still noise. So that's not really having any bearing on the amount of noise or the operation of the memory circuit. but. I will, however, continue to adjust it so that it is properly inspect because that's definitely a good thing. Okay, so I've got it adjusted quite happily now. It's at 5.24 volts. So, that's good. Actually, it's just about 5.25. It jumped up there for a second. So, I'm happy that that's calibrated now. And I've actually learned something, too, that... Uh, the fact that that potentiometer is for calibrating the 5.25 volt supply for the ESPs. So that's good to know. And again, to confirm, I'll turn down this. And you can still hear the noise in there. So again, the problem isn't anything to do with uh, the ESP supply voltage.